In this video, I'm about to show y'all five best current teams in the NBA 2K23. And let me know in the comment section which team got left out on the top five list. Number five, I have to put the Warriors because they got Seth Curry, Klay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman, Draymond Green. You got Jordan Poole coming off the bench, or you could stall him, whatever you want to do. You got Conmega, and you got the rest of the bench that's solid. The reason why I put them in number five because Steph Curry, for example, got a 993 ball to this day. The only problem is that they nerfed him and gave him Christopher Step on silver. So be careful how you play with him because he can, he don't move this fast like he used to. Plus he's 34 years old, so they kind of nerfed him a little bit. But his three balls on point. Now with Klay Thompson, on the other hand, he got 993 ball as well. Not 99, but 85 three ball. But he can still knock it down. He got these badges like Dead Eye. He got Claymore. He got Catch and Shoot and, and, and a lot more. And, he, and he's a two way player. So he he could guard the best player too as well, and Andrew Wiggins is, is the type of guy that could slash it to the rim. He one of the best dunkers in this game. He go crazy with the slasher ability, and not only that, he could defend the the one of the best player as well, along with Klay Thompson. So that's a good thing about this team. And you got Draymond Green, the guy that could guard the power forwards and the centers. But there's only one problem though, is that when you go straight up against Draymond Green, it, 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 it still go in. Guys like Giannis could do that to him, so it don't matter. Sometimes you can stop that, sometimes you don't, but this team is very good. That's why I put them on top five. So make sure you use them if you're struggling. I'm surprised that nobody don't play with this team that often, but I put them as number four because you got JC Timmer, the guy that had one of the best jump shot in this game. And not only that, he can move better with the ball, like step back threes and things like that, and the spin move. And you got JJ Brown, that could defend the best player on this game. And not only that, Jalen Brown is the guy that could dunk the ball at real. They used to have him at gold, Pulsar Watson, and they put it in silver. So they like to nerf things. I don't know why. But he's still a beast in the court. So don't sleep on Jalen Brown. And you got Al Horford, the guy that could stretch the floor. You could put him at the five or the four. It does not matter because he got the three ball. And it fixes jump shot as well. It's not ugly like last year. And not only that, you got Robert Rims, a guy that could defend the best centers in his game. He got gold anchor. Pogo stick ain't chase down artists. So you need help to stop at a big man and like smash it to the rim. He's the guy that go slow down down. But the guys like an off ball put out half of there so that they don't off ball you. So guys, do not sleep on this team. The Clippers are number three because the Clippers are the fun team to use. They got John Wall, the newest me member on the team. You got Kawhi Leonard, the two-way best player in this game. You got Paul George, another two-way best player in the game. And not only that, you got um, Zuba. He kind of average, but he's not all that. But that's the only big man they have. And you look at their bench, they had no power forwards and no center. So I don't know. They play small ball in the second unit, but it seemed fun team to use. And not only that, if you need help to win games, make sure you use the Clippers so that it could be a guarantee of W. Because Kawhi Leonard got Hall of Fame minutes, gold clamps challenger and cetera and same thing with paul george but the difference is that his badge is on silver on defense and he still got quick first set on silver so you're able to move fast with paul george and all that he still got great dunking animations in this game and he can shoot the three ball for far distance the same thing with Kawhi Leonard, but the difference is is that he got the bronze limits range so if you need help locking down your best player that's a team to the go with the only problem is, is the center man zubat is so slow but he can still dominate, but not like that. So you gotta be careful. Uh, be careful of guys all born off of this guy because you're gonna have time scoring on ISO with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard and John Wall. So be careful. Make sure you use pick and rolls and run plays with these guys. Number two, you gotta go with the Seven Sisters because they're the best all around team. You can five out with this team. You got James Harden, you got Jordan B, one of the best centers in this game. Next to Jokish, you got Ty Ball to come up the bench. But I would start him to defend the best player in this game. You got T. Harris. You got P.J. Tucker. And the rest of the bench, I don't know who they have. But they great all-around team. So they all could shoot and they could defend great. Except James Harden because he can defend to save himself. But anyway, James Harden kind of got nerfed with the quick first step. They gave him bronze. So he's not going to move this fast like at YouTube compared to last year. The NBA 2K22 and 2K21. So be careful how you dribble with this guy because the way his movement is kind of slow. But you can still hit him with moves and step back and things like that. And he's still effective with the three ball. He can still dunk the ball as well. He still can move, but not as much like he used to. Like I said, and you got Jordan B, 
Like, a lot of centers in today, the current teams cannot go out and draw and beat. So you got an advantage to dominate with him. You could average like 30 points per game, 45, depends on the big man. Even jokers cannot stop him. But the thing is that you can stretch the floor with him. You can shoot the three ball. You can post up. You do. The, you could do the post hooks. The phase is very effective. We got now to do it. And not only that, you got PJ Tucker at the four. He could defend and shoot the three ball. The three balls are 85. You can knock him down, but it's quick jumper. Be careful with the mirror match. Number one, you have to go with the Bucks because they are number one in defense. They could defend everywhere. You got Drew Holiday could defend the best point guard in the game. You got Chris Milton could defend one of the best small forwards in the game. You got Giannis could guard all five positions. It does not matter. And he got a whole on thing, bully bad. That means that he could get his way into the rim easy. Like, just like that. In this 2K community, people like to use the Bucks the most of the time because Giannis is so cheese and he's a glitch. And not only that, he's 6'11", can move like a guard. So people like to use Giannis because he could bail people out. Even though you okay in this game, you're able to perform with Giannis.